She won a landslide election victory, riding on a wave of anger by people fed up with the status quo. But Xiomara Castro's presidency is already fraught with trepidation, even before it starts. Honduras's Congress is in crisis over who should lead the legislative body. Last week, around 20 lawmakers from her own Libre o Freedom Party defected in opposition to Castro's choice for congressional leader. She picked a lawmaker from another party as part of a deal with Salvador Nasrallah, her former rival turned running mate. Those rejecting this picked one of their own by aligning themselves with the right-wing National Party of the outgoing president. On Tuesday, rival groups held separate sessions, one in the chambers of Congress, the other over Zoom. The political impasse is threatening to derail Castro's ambitious reform agenda. Encuentra un país no solamente fracturado políticamente, sino que con múltiples necesidades en materia educativa, de salud. Recibe un país con niveles de inseguridad otra vez en crecimiento. On the street, hopes are still high that Castro will bring serious change to Honduras. Under the previous government, Half the population lived in poverty and rampant crime drove thousands to jump on migrant caravans. Outgoing president Juan Orlando Hernandez has faced accusations of institutional drug trafficking and corruption. Although he has not been charged with crime, his brother has been sentenced to life in prison by a U.S. judge.